Vinny Politan, thanks so much for joining us tonight here on Closing Arguments. Big night, big show coming up. We've got, first of all, uh, a Court TV exclusive tonight. We've got some photographs. Um, not in evidence. Jury hasn't seen them. We're going to show them to you tonight. Some of the aftermath of, of one of these confrontations, one of these blow-ups between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. It was the one on the staircase. Speaking of the staircase, um, it's the name of a brand new series. I don't know if you've seen it on HBO Max. Everyone's talking about it. It, it. It's a story not necessarily about defamation, but it's a story about murder. But it's a husband and it's a wife. Um, and it involves a, a man named Peterson who is accused of murdering his wife. Now, it's, it's not Scott Peterson who murdered his wife, Lacey, not Drew Peterson, who murdered his wife and has another wife missing out in Bolingbrook, Illinois. No, it was Michael Peterson, a novelist from uh, Durham, North Carolina. Now, this is a, a, a show, a scripted show. Colin Firth is playing Michael Peterson. But it was a real trial and a real case, and it was on court TV. A few moons ago, by the way, um, and it was something that I covered myself. It was what I call my, my summer of Petersons because I was going from the East Coast to the West Coast, from Durham to Modesto, covering two cases involving a, a, a husband accused of murdering his wife, Durham with Michael Peterson, then out to Modesto for the preliminary hearing of Scott Peterson. Um, it was, it was a, a crazy year, but when I was in Durham, um, the case of Michael Peterson, the one that involves a brutal murder on a staircase or in a staircase. Well, guess what, folks? I was on that staircase. I was there. I, all right, the hair's a little darker, but I was on the staircase. Take a look. This is the staircase where Kathleen Peterson died that night. If you look at the bottom of the stairs, you can still see the blood stains. Now, the prosecution says these stains are evidence of murder, but the defense says these same stains are evidence of a tragic accident. That was me. That was me. All right, let's, let's bring it back to, the, to Fairfax County, Virginia now. We're out of Durham. We're back to Fairfax, but we're talking about yet another staircase tonight. This is the uh, big blow-up between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, one of several that we've heard about during the course of the trial. In case you don't recall the nature of this one, let's take a listen back to opening statements. But Amber finds uh, on a TV screen, uh, his monitor, she finds pictures of another woman, naked pictures of a woman, and text messages which show that he's clearly having an affair. She gets extremely mad. Amber can be jealous too. She can get angry. You know, she's half his age, and you know, she she's you know defiant. And we're not going to say she's perfect. She was mad as can be when she saw that, and she confronted him. The two of them were screaming at each other. Now her sister Whitney happened to be in the house. She was summoned. She literally was awakened to come and try to resolve this fight between the two of them. While she's there, Johnny starts hitting Amber, um, and it, Whitney ends up getting in between them. And Amber thinks that Johnny's going to throw her down, f push her down the stairs because he's in that position. So Amber actually gets up and punches Johnny in the face. She'll tell you that's the only time she has ever laid one on him, you know, in a, a, an aggressive manner. But it's after he's already been hitting her and it's in defense of her sister. And she'll admit she got him that time and she actually did have an impact on him. All right, so this is where she's conceding that she punched Johnny Depp. Amber Heard. Uh, but Johnny Depp says all the other stuff, that's not true. I was not hitting her. She hit me. Now, in court, witnesses have testified uh, that fight led to a physical altercation between Depp and Heard on a staircase. This is in um, their Los Angeles penthouse. Now, this hour, you'll hear testimony from Amber Heard, Johnny Depp, and Depp's bodyguard about what happened. And Court TV has exclusively obtained photos that appear to show the aftermath of that incident. This is March of 2015. Our source provided an alleged text exchange uh, containing the photos from uh, Amber Heard's sister Whitney and Johnny Depp's estate manager. Here's what that uh, text exchange says. Good, good morning, sir. So um, 
Johnny destroyed Amber's closet and there's some damage to pH 5. You're the lucky person I should talk to about that, correct? I suppose so. I'm up. Insanity. Just blank insanity. And now, here are the exclusive photos of that damage. Let's take a look. Um, they show racks of Amber's clothes knocked over on the floor. Um, racks of shoes toppled over. Both Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's bodyguard testified that Depp caused this mess that you see in, in the photo. So that's conceded to a certain extent. You'll hear them tell the story in their own words uh, this hour. Now, Court TV, we've reached out to Johnny Depp's legal team. They've had no comment on these photos. Let's bring in tonight's guests joining us tonight in Austin, Texas, trial attorney Holly Davis and in Los Angeles, California, forensic psychiatrist Dr. Praveen Kanban. Great to have you both here. Um, Holly, let me ask you, all right, we've got photographs. It's a mess. Um, it's conceded that Johnny Depp is the one who created this mess. What do these pictures tell us that the witnesses don't tell us? Anything? Yes, I think we can see two bad actors and two bad acts. We've got a person who... Wait, wait, wait. You say bad actor. Do you mean like bad actor or someone <laughs> acting badly? Both. I, I, I feel like we've got two actors who are mutually abusing the other. We've got Johnny Depp who has conceded to damaging that staircase and to damaging those clothes, to causing that wreck, that scene. We have Amber Heard who admitted to punching Johnny Depp on the staircase. And so we've got... These pictures are actually fascinating, Vinny, because it shows the extent to which Johnny's reaction was. And Johnny denies hitting Amber in that moment, but he does admit causing this mess. And I think this mess is extensive. And think about it, look at those racks. You have to be creating a lot of force to turn them over. That clothing looks very heavy. So that is a really uh, physical mess that was created uh, and apparently conceded to by Johnny Depp. The uh, question still remains whether or not he committed physical violence on Amber Heard that night. And that's the ultimate question. Yeah. Um, the other part of this is this is an enormous closet. Can we just all admit this is an enormous closet? Huge. It's a lot of shoes. A lot, lot of shoes. A lot of, a lot of purses. Okay. Uh, doc, Dr. Kanban, I want you to listen to Amber Heard here describing why there was a fight that night, why there was this, this argument, this confrontation, and then whatever else happened, depending upon who you're listening to. Uh, let's listen. Because we were kind of in the bedroom together the night of the 22nd, um, which is when he passed out how I found his iPad. I'm sorry, when you... Uh... I, I found his iPad open, he was texting someone with it open, he passed out, and I saw what he was texting. Please tell the jury about that. Uh, he was, he was texting this woman um, that he had had a, a relationship with on and off, um, kind of at the beginning of our um, relationship, so I recognized the name, but the date was right after the wedding. I freaked out. I immediately, like, confronted him about it. I was, you know, I, I didn't care in that moment if he did kill me, which is likely in confronting him at that stage of our lives. I want to focus on three words that she said, uh, Dr. Kanban. I freaked out. When someone says that about their own behavior, wh what should we take away from that? Well, obviously, we don't have a term for that in psychiatry. So you really need to ask people what they mean. Uh, it could be that they had their emotions just take control over them and acted without really thinking that part of your brain took over versus the front part of your brain that kind of controls us. Uh, that's usually what people mean, but you really have to ask them because that can mean many, many, many different things. Uh, how about this, though? This is from a, a witness, Amber Heard, you know, who seems very much under control inside the courtroom, which is different than what we've heard on some of the recordings. 
uh, different than what we saw in her deposition. Um, I I'm wondering, like, if she's saying, I freaked out, it, it just seems to me that it's an acknowledgement that she lost some level of control, control that we've seen in, in, in the courtroom. Um, her, I mean, she's been very stoic when listening to Johnny Depp. Um, it's, it's quite a contrast. Yes, I mean, I think here you've got legal strategy as well, right? So it depends on what her legal team has, has decided is the best way to present here in court. I know we talked about this on a previous episode, but there's also the, the nonverbal, the emotional kind of gut feeling that goes towards the jury. And so if there is evidence that, that's admitted to that there was some sort of altercation and there's a witness that saw her actually punching, then the legal team has to come up with an explanation for that, for the jury to, to, to actually uh, believe and, and feel does not alienate them from her. And this could be that. Okay, Holly, I have something else for you to listen to and, and okay. take a look at. This is Johnny Depp testifying about his injury from this incident. Um, I believe that's, uh, well, it's definitely me. Um, uh, after uh, receiving a, kind of a, 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 a roundhouse, um, punch um, from Miss Hurt. I believe that this is uh, it's March. Uh, I believe that this is from what's been called the staircase incident. That's what we're calling it. Okay, Holly, which is more revealing to you now? We, we showed you the exclusive pictures that we've obtained of the aftermath. There's another picture of some aftermath, which is more revealing about what happened. The bruise on Johnny Depp's face, and here's why, Vinny. Obviously, the jury knew coming into it from the opening statements that Amber Heard was going to go on and on about all of the atrocities that occurred uh, on her at the hands of Johnny Depp. But the fact of the matter is, is that Amber Heard definitely punched Johnny Depp in the face. And so I believe this portion of her testimony was very rehearsed, very calculated, and strategically designed to explain to the court why, in this case, Amber Heard was the aggressor or the you know abuser in this instance and to me this this moment is at the heart of the case for the jurors because they're asked to believe whether or not the statement in the op-ed was false about her being a victim of domestic violence and landing a haymaker on johnny depp and admitting to that is sort of the opposite of being a victim of domestic violence so she has to explain this to the jurors why that's so discrepant from what she's claiming throughout the rest of the trial. Great analysis. That is that is spot on analysis.